Wow, I'm so happy right now. I can shut up the naysayers. Give me that belt. I deserve it. Thank you. Welcome everyone to Ring the Bell. This is DS and today we need a little time with the Hall of Famer Tori Wilson. Oh my god, I'm so excited to be sitting here with you. Aw, uh, thank you. You have so many fan submissions for the top five Tori Wilson moments. There are so diverse moments there. Well, I, I can only imagine. It was so difficult to just pick five, so let's get right into it. The moment one. Approaching the ring, Tori Wilson! Emotional relationship with the Checks. Your match against Stacy Keebler for the first ever lingerie oh. match. Well, all I can think of right now is, wow, we've come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine today? These no. girls would be like, wait, what? Wait? All I remember from that is thinking I need to use double-sided tape and how am I not going to be showing basically everything. <laughs> This is a little bit after you moved from WCW to WWF. So how was the women's locker room different from WCW to WWF? Uh, well, it was just a little different because we were like the new kids on the block. And I think everybody in the WWF was a little worried about their job and all these new people coming in. You know, some people were nice, but there was definitely an air of everybody there feeling like my job might be in jeopardy. And then us feeling like, yikes, this is new territory. <laughs> Let's move to our second moment. Okay. Your women's championship match with Molly Holly. This is your first women's championship match. Oh my God, you know what is amazing right now? This is really sad. I don't even remember, I don't didn't think I ever had a women's <laughs> championship match. This has to be the only one. I think this was the only one. That's why fans remember this moment so much. Wow, I'm so happy right now that I actually was in a women's championship match. I didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was around a time when you were really solidifying yourself as the queen of SmackDown because you were, of course, you were sexy, but you brought that physicality into the ring. And so many fans love talking about your finisher back then. And Tori! Oh, wow! The Tori NATO DDT. Oh, I loved that. So, how did this come about and why did it disappear? Well,. That is a move that you really have to rely on the person you're giving it to to make you look good. Okay. And so not everybody wants to make you look that great, like Nydia. She wanted to make you look good. Right, right. It takes a lot of uh, a very someone being very athletic on her part to be able to take that move. So not everyone can take it. So this is your first championship match. And you know the rampant rumor that you were supposed to be the first owner of WWE Divas Champion Belt. Yeah, I have recently heard that. It's kind of depressing to think about. Give me that belt. I deserve it. Wait, so you didn't know when you were in WWE? No. No, we didn't, they didn't tell us. I didn't tell me. <laughs> Let's move to a third moment. It is one of the most popular segments ever. <laughs> Your segment with Dawn Marie. Oh my gosh. Basically the pinnacle of drama in pro wrestling. God, it's really crazy right now because my dad just died. Yep. And this is my dad's funeral on TV. I remember thinking how surreal it was at the time. I actually loved doing all these segments with my dad and Don Marie because they were so just outlandish and it's just entertainment. And to me, that's also a fun part about wrestling is the, the entertainment and the, the, just the crazy, wacky storylines. You know, there were parts about it that I didn't love, but I did love this fight at the funeral home. Like, it was just so fun. It really was. Even though the champion belt was not involved, people loved this storyline. And it was fun to wrestle her because we had, like, this weird thing. Like, I don't think she really liked me. So it was like, it's almost like some of our fights were real. Oh my! <laughs> well, I know this could be a little touchy, um, but you're dad passed away recently and you talked about it in Hall of Fame, which made everyone cry. My dad passed away like two days ago. And, you know, I feel so blessed that I was able to have this crazy experience with him here. What was it like traveling with your dad, kind of living your superstar life with him? Oh my gosh. Well, think about you with your dad. I, I can't. Thank you. Well, thankfully, <laughs> sorry, dad. Thankfully, he was he was only there the day of TVs. I didn't really travel with him that much, but um, it was terrifying because he didn't understand the politics backstage. And one time he asked Vince McMahon if he could have a ride in his limo to the building. 
in the hotel. He Yes, he did ask him. Oh my God. He got a ride. So I was always constantly worried, like, is dad going to embarrass me tonight? On the side note, it was just so fun to have that experience with him and to be able to give him that experience. It's special. Yeah. My dad. My... You know, he came in, he made an ass out of himself in the ring. He had no idea what he was doing. And he was scared, I know he was, but he did it for his daughter and we got to spend some time together. I love you, Dad. Let's move to our fourth moment. It is your legendary. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> We lived for it. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. But, oh okay, 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 I'll stop here right here. It is your legendary bikini contest with Sable. <laughs> what was it like feuding with Sable, who was the oh biggest star of the era right before you? You guys, if you ever have the chance to watch this video again in slow motion, notice how horrible the dancing is. The rhythm is so off, it's so embarrassing. I cringe every single time I see this. I was like, I cannot believe I went there. I was so nervous because Sable is so beautiful, gorgeous, such a good dancer. She actually has rhythm, which I don't. I did my uh, Hall of Fame speech talking about this moment yes, because yes. she was so good. And I was so embarrassed and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna stink up this joint and I'm supposed to win this contest right now and there's no way the fans are gonna like cheer for me. That's all that's going on in my head. I was not thinking about anything else. But we have to talk about the reveal, the bikini reveal. Oh, but the smaller, the yeah. That was so genius. I wish I could say it was my idea, but it was not. Whose idea was it? That was creative. They came up with it and they what they wanted me to do was actually paint. Oh, uh, like Sable did. Like she did, mm -hmm. which kind of, I guess, would kind of make sense because mm -hmm. I was against her, but all I heard was like, you want me to paint what? No, <laughs> I'm not, no. So this was like a crossover, like, we agreed on this one. Let's move to our last moment. It is... Not, not a, not a suplex here, look at that. Nice, look out, get an inkling of that. Look out! Oh, nice, oh, oh, on the screen, y'all, here we go, look at this! Oh, 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 Your WrestleMania match with Candice Michelle. <laughs> So this was kind of like the culmination of Vince's devil storyline. Yeah. Which so many people to this day is their favorite team, favorite stable. Aww. See, the three of us would travel together and stay in the same hotel room and have just, this was such a great time. One of my favorite times on the road because I had recently gotten divorced and they're, they're like my sisters and they got me through it and we had so much fun on the road. So like to be in the ring with them and travel with them, it was just, so fun. Yeah. That's what I remember the most. It was like it was us. And even your last match in WWE was with Victoria, too. Tori Wilson away. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tori. Oh, the neck breaker. Right yeah, there. yeah. She's the best. And it was one of my favorite matches, even if it wasn't on TV. Wait a minute. Of course, Chloe. How's Chloe. Chloe? She's good. She's still alive and kicking. I love it. The first animal to be the WWE superstar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does Chloe miss the days of being WWE superstar? I don't know that she misses them. She clearly still thinks she's a superstar, supermodel. <laughs> she's way cooler than her parents. <laughs> thank you so much for running down top five moment with us. Oh, thank you. Before we wrap up, we have to talk about your Hall of Fame, being inducted to Hall of Fame. Oh my gosh. I cried. I was in Sedona, Arizona on a spiritual retreat. Oh and I was God. in my hotel room and I got a call from them and they told me that they were going to induct me and I remember trying not to cry. I was like, play it cool, Tori, play it cool. And I hung up and I told my boyfriend, I started crying and he's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I told him and I was like, I honestly, I, it, it never even, the thought of being in the Hall of Fame never even occurred to me and it wasn't something I really like aspired to and I didn't know how awesome it would be until they asked me to be in it. And then all of a sudden I was like, wow. I'm so honored. I never thought it would be this amazing. Recently, Trish had her last match, the final match of her career, the Hall of Famer, Trish Stratus. Who would be your last match, if you can have but, one? Uh, first of all, I don't think that's really her last match. I cannot imagine. That's very true, She's yeah. gonna be in the ring again. <laughs> At least I think she would be. And who would I let, uh, I don't know. I feel like if I ever had a match like that, I'd have to train for six months. Make it damn good. And the only reason I would do that is so that I can um, shut up the naysayers and even prove to myself 
that I'm actually a much better athlete today than you I really was are. then. You gave Shaniqua a chair shot. People love that moment too. <laughs> it's up! Thank you so much for Thank doing this you. interview with us. What's the last thing you want to tell your fans? You guys are awesome. Thanks for keeping it real. And there's nothing like a WWE fan and, of course, like a Tori Wilson fan. And uh, I don't think of you as fans. I think of you as friends. And I love you. And I'm just sending you all love and good energy.